In the last couple of movies, I've been using a title block and I haven't really been explaining myself. So let's have a look at the title block border tool. It's this one here. So the title block border tool, we can choose a title block that we might want to use. Let's see this one here. And we select it. And then we can go and look at the settings for this. Now it's a good idea to edit the style. So we've got the style here that we've chosen. We've got here the settings for the style. Here they are here. And one of the things that's going to happen is that once we use this title block, it will be fixed initially. There it is there. One of the things I want to look at is the style. Let's have a look here. Let's edit the style. This dialog box controls what the title block is going to look like, the style, the border style. So I'm going to fit it to the printable area. I'm going to use the outside dimensions. I'm using millimeters at the moment, so it might look weird. It's not 13 inches, it's 13 millimeters. So let me just make each of these one millimeter and it'll push my title block right close to the edge. I'm going to turn off the line weight. It doesn't matter. I can make that zero and the line, the border will disappear. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to change it somewhere else. So here under sheet zones and grids, I don't want to see any grids. And I'm going to have none. So if I use crops, I get uh, those little marks. If I use outline, I get that mark. And if I use none, I get nothing. And if I show the grids, I can see them there. Show the grid lines, I can see them. I don't want to see any of those, so I'm going to turn those off. So that starts to give me what I'm looking for, for my title block. Title block here. This is where I can actually start to change things on it. Uh, but what do I want? Fold marks. Back to my sheet border. This option here. I need to hide the border. That'll do a great job of just getting rid of the border completely, but it'll still place my title block at the bottom right corner of my screen. I have the ability to locate this and I can choose where it fits it. So let's go OK. And there's my object. So you can see it's changed its style. I'm going to go back and edit the style again because there's something I want to change. I want to change the scale of this. So this is a little bit big for me at the moment. So I'm going to go to here to the title block settings. There's my bottom right. I can set it to bottom right, bottom left and so on. And I want to make this 0 0.7. See if that's about the right size. I think it might be 0.65 is best for this because I'm just using a small piece of paper. And there it is. There's my small bit of paper. And you can see it's slightly in conflict with my dimension line. So I must have had a difference there. So let's edit the style. And that was 0.6. And so that was 0.6 for the scale. So let's make that 0.6. And that looks better. It's got the right size now. Now to fill in the title block information, I use file title block manager and now I can use the title block manager to fill in for information like the project ID yes okay we'll change it to all of those one two three four project name is my creating drawings so creating drawings exercise file now I've got project line two here which I'm going to delete Click on the next button and we can see more information. I don't want anything there. I don't want anything in my design firm name because I'm going to put in a company logo for that. Go to the next one. We'll get rid of that. There's no project manager, so I'll get rid of that too. So we can go through and add information to each sheet. So I can actually type in a separate sheet title. Now at the moment, the sheet title framing plan is picking up the information from here. Framing plan. Now if you want to have three lines of sheet title, fantastic. Go for it, it's right there. And at the moment, my sheet number is picking up the information from my sheet layer anyway. So there's a lot of information I don't need to change on here. Click OK, and you can see it's updated some of the information, some of it's now been reduced. OK, let's have a look. Let's double click on this. If we double click on that title block, I get this dialog box. So I can go to the title block manager or I can edit the title block layout. So let's edit the title block layout. And because it's my style, everything I, I do will change. It's OK there. So I don't need this information. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need the design firm name or those areas there either. I've got no consultants, so I can get rid of the consultants. And it leaves me a big area here to put my company logo. Now I just need to go and find my company logo. And then I'm going to drag and drop it onto here. So I found a logo that I want to use, this one here. I'm going to drag that in, 
drop it. It's a JPEG file. It's not going to geo reference. Okay. And there's my company logo. So I'm just going to put that in the middle. How are we going to find the middle of that? I'm going to see if I can locate the middle. Just check all my settings here. Yeah, make sure I've got these turned on. Somewhere I turned off all of my snaps. Okay, let's do that again. So I should be able to find the midpoint there, find the midpoint there, and let's just nudge it up using the shift and the arrow keys. All of this information here, I want to stretch that down. And I'm going to use my reshape tool, grab hold of all of that, and stretch it down till it's about there. So there's my, that'll give me lots of room for my issue notes. I've got my company logo, it could have my phone number and all the rest of that on it. And when I exit, I've updated my title block. So that's a really quick way of editing your title block, getting one that suits you. Now, if you want to make it smaller, by all means, edit it. Let's make it smaller so you can move parts around. So you can get rid of things you don't want. You might want to leave that one, the date. You might want to get rid of these parts here. Drawn by project manager. There's also a little bit in here as well. Yeah, there it is there. Scale project ID. Get rid of that. So then you can do whatever you want. I'm going to use my trim tool. Get rid of that line and that line. And I could put a little logo in here or North Arrow or something like that. Actually, that would be an ideal place for North Arrow. So that's what I suggest you do if you want to change your title block. Now I'm going to make another movie. It's going to be on my subscriber site. And it's going to show how to make changes to this title block to allow you to input this kind of information on every title block. So if you like these files, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when I update movies.